Defence Secretary Michael Fallon, along with the Conservative candidate Mims Davis, have been campaigning in West End this week. The minister told reporters that the Ebola crisis and the Nepal earthquake showed how vital the UK foreign aid budget is. You know we've had people fighting Ebola. Uh, we've sent troops and uh, helicopters and army medics and nurses and engineers and marines to help tackle Ebola. Well, that, that's paid for partly out of the overseas aid budget because we're tackling a disease that could otherwise spread to Europe and spread to this country. So that's an example of how defence, the armed forces and overseas aid works together. There are some very poor countries in the world and it's quite unfair to cut the aid that we're giving to them. But also we have, our, we have an interest in this. If you don't help some of these very poor countries, you get uh, these countries start to fall apart, you get insurgency, you get terrorism and in the end you get conflict and that hits us too. So it's important we do work uh, to help uh, stabilise these countries. But increasingly, of course, um, you know, the, the armed forces are there to help. We're helping, for example, in Nepal. There's been a terrible earthquake. It is the armed forces who can help, but that is paid for out of the overseas aid budget. Thank you very much. Bye for now. Bye-bye. This is a, a landmark election as to whether you want the recovery to continue or not. And in Eastleigh, look at the huge drop in unemployment. More jobs are being created here. Eastleigh is recovering. Unemployment has dropped by a thousand over the last five years. There are more opportunities, particularly for young people, to get into apprenticeships, to get into training, and we want that recovery to continue. Although Michael Fallon might not be impressed with Mike Thornton, the polls suggest that Thornton has the edge, but the candidates themselves are predicting a close finish and say every vote will count on May the 7th. This is Stephen Slominski for Eastleigh News and Winchester News Online in Eastleigh.